Hello, welcome to pcdailytips.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you quick how you can open or edit host file uh, using Mac if you are not a really fan of terminal. So let's get started. First, you open your finder and then click on go and then go to folder or there is a keyboard shortcut like shift, uh, I mean shift, command and G. So let's try comment shift and G and then it will show you go to folder dialog box here and then you're going to type in on forward slash private uh, forward slash and then etc and then forward slash and then click on go then it will show you all the files inside your etc folder and scroll down anything starting with H uh, letter here and as you can see you see the host file here so here is what I'm going to do so click that and then copy so copy host and then go you to desktop or somewhere safe and paste it here okay so now we have the backup of our host file and then the next step is we're going to right click it I mean select it and then right click it open with and open with your text edit or any text editor so I'm going to open with uh, my text edit and there it is our host file and to edit that just click somewhere there and then uh, hit enter and then it will show you that you are not allowed to write uh, this file so what we're going to do is click on duplicate and it will uh, create a file that actually you can edit it so then close the locked host file there and then here we're going to edit something for example like just uh, for example and then click on save and then we'll uh, ask you where you want to save it and then uh, delete this copy wording there and then click on save in any location that you want and mine is save it on my desktop it's called host.txt there and then close this host.txt and next is still on the etc folder here we're going to delete this uh, old host file delete that and then move the host.txt that we just saved in desktop here just drop and, tra uh, drop and drag here and then it asks you to authenticate click on authenticate and enter your password okay so next is we're going to remove the .txt extension just delete that and hit enter and then it will show you uh, this dialog box click on remove okay so now if we open it again just to make sure if it is edited and it is edited here so that's all guys a uh, quick tips for today and thank you for watching goodbye